Fighting is my job, that's what I do for a living, that's what I've been doing since I'm seven years old every day. I'm fighting because I like the science of it. For me, it's a passion, it's a sport. I'm a martial artist, and that's what I love to do. GSP is George St. Pierre, the current welterweight champion of the UFC. He's a phenomenal mixed martial artist. He's such an expert in his field. And the chance to work with a guy like George is a tremendous opportunity. I'm here to make the video game actually to help the guys, help the team, to give them some uh, insight of what I think, to make it more authentic, make it more real. Throughout the development of this game, we've been heavily influenced by MMA, karate, kung fu, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, and that in, in a lot of ways mirrors George's fighting style. We took George through the story of the game, the characters, the world itself, and then got into the fighting. The fighting scenes are, are so realistic, it's like the real, uh, the real thing, you know? I like the way the transition between the striking and the takedown is done, it's very fluid. Anything that glows red when you've got a character grappled is a piece of the environment that you can use. You, so you can use a chair, you can take your opponent and throw him in a, <laughs> in a, in a fish tank or in a grinder. Oh! He wanted to get his hands on the game, you know, he almost kind of wanted to take the controls from Mike and play himself. <laughs> it was like the dark side of George wanted to bust loose. Like me, when I play video game, I like to be a villain. In, li in, in life, I'm a good person, but when I play, I'm, I'm like the most evil person I can be. And then we brought in uh, Liberty Walker and Soda Yuyama, two guys who've been key to the development of our fighting and our locomotion. And the great thing about these guys meeting George is that Soda and Liberty are both fighters themselves. Whenever we are trying to implement some new moves, uh, we get up, start throwing the punches, and then see how it feels. So we would often work through what worked mechanically from our martial arts background, trying to keep with more believable moves. So the Liberty are very committed in what they do. They're very uh, meticulous in their work. So Soda, you want to bring up on your end like the, the jump kick? When you're sprinting towards the enemy and you push the striking button and there's a jump kick that comes out. It's a little bit problematic for us just visually. We weren't quite happy with it, but we couldn't quite articulate what was wrong with it. So you can see it in slow mo. Okay, I see the problem. Go, go continue. Yes, I can see. So at that point, you know, we we broke we broke into the mechanics of what was wrong with that move and how it wasn't looking correct. It doesn't feel like his hip. You know why? Because he's right. jumping with the same leg that he's gonna kick, which is wrong. Oh. You see, you jump with the left and you kick with the left. Yes. If I would do that move, okay, I would, I would jump with my right and yes. kick with the left. George was in his element when he was talking to those guys. That's really when he he got fully engaged. What I like I like to do is when the guy the guy kick here, up, getting into and boom, with it. and I see one he swing like this, crack, and then break the leg. He's, he's done, you know tweak this, tune this, make this a little bit different, and uh, we'll be even closer to having truly authentic uh, fighting experience. We talked a little bit about the flying punch. It's uh, one of my uh, favorite moves in the fighting, but I've learned new version of it and new ways to apply it. You know, the one I use with my front end that everybody knows, and I like to combine it with the leg kick. I'm not watching the leg. Okay. So I'm here, you go with the front, and then you finish with the, the yep. kick this side. And yeah. the other one is the same thing, so I fake it, up, up, and I finish with the kick as well. Oh, nice. It's like a combination, you know, you end up, yeah. papa, with the kick. With the here, here, and that's it. Nice. Wow. So even if you're not actually making contact, right, when yeah. you're actually working him back, yeah. he's on the defensive, you can pin him down. Exactly. And he's then moving, he... but now you're in, he's, his attention's up here, Yeah. and you're in kicking range. So that's almost guaranteed, right? Exactly. That's because he, because he, he doesn't see what is coming. You block it. You block his vision. I so he, he tried to protect high. Then you cut the leg. You know? That's when it works the most efficiently. Yeah, the whole He helped us refine um, the flying punch in the animation, and then we implemented in our game. <laughs> oh my God! You guys did a great job. Like seriously. Maybe he can pick up the control and try out the GS right now. Yeah. 
If you want to fight multiple guys, I can give you three or four guys. Yeah, send me another one. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Do you guys, can you guys give me a little bit more? I think he's dead. Oh, can I have another guy? I just killed this one. Okay, well, do you want maybe two more guys? And give him two more guys. And he goes, no, 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 like, I want more. How many can you put on this? And you do like their matrix, like. So he created a whole bunch of guys and he's like fighting a, a massive army of guys just at him and he's just working his way through them. George absolutely helped us take the game to, I think, just another level. Having a guy who really embodies uh, what you know, MMA is today come in and actually help us tweak up our fighting, which is really the cornerstone of the gameplay experience. Doing more and more stuff like that is, is you know, crucial for game development. And actually getting to meet the experts in the field and the people who really live that lifestyle and understand that lifestyle. And the fact that we actually have stuff in the game that's representative of him. Oh, so. my fighting shorts. You got it, man. That's the main thing about it. The, the reason why we play a game is to entertain ourselves, to have fun. And this game, I have to tell you, it's, it's a lot of fun. Oh, that's a murderous rampage. And I, everyone. In many ways, I think he's just as dangerous on the road as he is in the ring.